Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Modded Minecraft. This is all the mods. One, ten, two. My name is AJ, and before we get started in today's episode, I'm going to be building some stuff for the other guys. We're going to be taking a look at Ender.io. First thing I want to be building today is the Experience Obelisk. Now, because we don't have anywhere, we don't have tanks in this mod pack, so we can't make XP tanks, we don't have XP drains. So what I'm going to go ahead and do instead is build the Experience Obelisk from Ender.io. This will allow us to store basically infinite amounts of XP forevermore until we decide to take it out. And we can also move that Experience Obelisk anywhere we like. So initially I'm going to put it here, right next to the Enchanter. I think that's quite a cool place to put it, nice and central. And what I have already done is I've gone ahead and prefabricated everything that we're going to need to build this thing because it's quite a bit of a pain in the butt uh, and you need to do pre-make a lot of the ingots. Now if you're not familiar with the experience obelisk it's this thing here. It needs the experienced rod, three solarium and a machine chassis. Now the experienced rod is made with solarium, energetic alloy and solarium on the bottom. And you, to make these, you need the alloy smelter, alloy smelter for that one, and also the solarium. That's the alloy smelter as well there, that's that one. Um, and lastly, the machine's chassis, which is basically a butt ton of iron, basic capacitor, copper ingot, redstone, gold. So it's not too bad, it's not too difficult. The uh, longest time is actually making these alloys. Uh, as you see, I have everything here ready to build it, so let's go ahead and do that so we need to build this first so boom alright experience rod number one there we go let's get that out of the crafting thing before we actually make it by mistake and then boom here it is oh, we didn't get an achievement that's rubbish I was hoping for an achievement then so let's go ahead and pop this bad boy down here boom boom we want a torch back up that's really bad there we go there we go and it's as simple as you just click on it and you store XP and you retrieve XP so I'm going to store all of my XP there we go 4 XP is now in there I can take that out boom or I can put one in one there you see my bar down here is going down and it's now going into that so if I store four in there I can go ahead and break this now and I can put this wherever I like I can put it there and it's still got my XP in it. I can take it out. I can put it back in. That's going to be really cool. So that's going to that's going to basically be useful because obviously the other guys they're such massive scrubs that they keep dying and losing all their XP. And one last thing that I want to build from Ender.io uh, that I've been sorely missing is some form of magnet. Now I know that Ender.io does have a magnet. Um, which is charged using RF. Uh, it's not as good as the Draconic Evolution um, item translocator dislocator thing, but it's better than nothing. So it says, pulls nearby items towards you. Shift right click to enable or disable. Must be powered, active and in the hotbar or a bauble slot to function. So that's really cool. So we can put it in one of our bauble slots. So this is the this is the baubles menu here, this little circle. So this is really cool. So basically it can go in one of these. And so that means it doesn't take up any space in our inventory or our hotbar. Um, the only thing we have to do is make sure obviously that it's turned on. And as with the experience obelisk, what are they doing over there? As with the experience obelisk, I've gone ahead and prefabricated a lot of th the stuff that we need. If I bring this back up again, you'll see here's the recipe. So it needs a vibrant crystal, which is really simple. Vibrant alloy and an emerald. Conductive iron, which is made in the alloy smelter. So, yeah, see, kind of quite cheap. Electrical steel, this is also made in the alloy smelter. With coal dust, silicon, iron. And we so we now have all this here. And I'm not just going to make one. I'm going to make three. So we've all got one. Here we go, three of these, one, two, three. Easy as that. Now you do need to power these things up, they do take RF, 
um, up to 100,000 RF. So this poor little capacitor over here is going to be drained. How much have we got? Oh, we've got more than enough. Here we go. Pop these in here. They are now charging up. Sweet. Boom, boom, and boom. And now what we can do with this, if we turn this thing on now, or I turn it off first, if I drop this gold on the floor, and I go ahead and turn this on, and there you see, it sucked it towards me. And I can break things, and they're going to come into my inventory. If I break a block, it's going to come into my inventory. How cool is that? It's really, really useful. Um, the one thing you do have to obviously make sure is if you're trying to give an item to somebody, that you're just going to suck it back. But, that said, the good thing is, is you can't accidentally drop your tool. So guys, that is a quick introduction to the Experience Obelisk and also the Magnet from Ender.io. Two really useful, really cool bits of tech that uh, I think you should build in your world because uh, they're going to help you out. So, until next time, see you later.